OpenSea NFT tutorial, create and sell your NFTs on OpenSea. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on how to create NFTs on OpenSea and sell. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to go to OpenSea.io and you will land on this website right here. OpenSea is world's largest and first NFT marketplace. It has all of the famous NFTs and we can create NFTs and sell NFTs for free using this platform. So once you get to OpenSea.io, make sure that you have a crypto wallet. So you can actually create one using MetaMask.io. Just go to MetaMask and you can uh, get a wallet with your email address. Once you have a MetaMask wallet, then it will become very easy for you to connect it to OpenSea and create and sell NFTs. So the first step uh, to get started on OpenSea is actually connecting your wallet. Click on connect wallet option given here and connect your MetaMask wallet that you just created. And then it will look something like this. You can see now we have a profile on OpenSea. Once you have created a profile, you have logged into your profile on OpenSea. Then we can create NFTs. Go to your profile option and here you can scroll down to see create. Click on create and it will take you to the window where we upload our NFTs. Here we are create new item. This is where we create NFTs on OpenSea. So as you can see we have our required field and this is where I'll upload it. Now you can upload any kind of NFT here, JPG file, PNG, JF, uh, MP4, MP3 and maximum size can be 100 MB. Here click and it will allow you to select a file from your computer. If you already have created an art then you will just simply upload it. Once you upload your art, this is what it will look like. I have this PNG file that I want to sell as an NFT. So if you want to create an NFT, you can use even Canva.com to create an NFT for free. You can use PixelArt.com and that allows you to create pixel NFT. So there are a lot of different ways to create any kind of art you want to. So here we have our, you know, NFT uploaded. After that, you have to give name to your NFT. This is where you will enter the name. For me, I'm going to go with this name right here because it is uh, uh, with my collection. This is the collection that we have and this is the name of this NFT. Moving on, we have external link. So you can see OpenSea will include a link to this URL. If you have a page for your NFT, if you have NFT collection, if you have a project and you have created a website for it, there is any uh, external link, you can add it right here. But if you do not have any external link, you can leave this option. Moving on, we have description. Now, the description will be included on items detail page. So this is where you will enter the details about your NFT and about your collection. So for now, I'm going to write the word description here. And we will move to collection. Now here a lot of people get confused that they do not have a collection. They're actually uploading NFT for the first time. Well, if you have a collection, then you can select from a drop down. But if you do not have a collection, this is your first NFT, then just leave this option. A collection will be created automatically with your new NFT. I already have a collection, so I'm just going to select this one and it will be added here. If you want to create a new collection, you can go to the profile here and you can see it says my collection. This is where uh, we create the collections and then we can add NFTs to each collection. Moving on, we have properties. This is where we add our textual traits that show up as rectangles. Click on this plus button and you can add any uh, character, any characteristics to your NFT and they will be shown as uh, a rectangular bar. Then we have levels. Click on this plus button and you can add levels to your NFT. Then we have stats. So these are the different traits that will be shown as uh, numbers. So here we have our, you know, three of the properties. And then we have unlockable content. Now, this is the kind of content. This is where you can add your address, your email address or any kind of content that will only be revealed by the owner. So what you will do is you if you enable this option, you could just enter any access key here, a code or a link. Moving on, we have explicit and sensitive content check. Um, and this is where you will uh, do the uh, content check. But for me, we do not have any, you know, sensitive content. So we can leave this option. Then we have some of the important options when it comes to creating an NFT. 
supply the number of items that can be minted so if you go with just one nft just one number of item then there is no gas cost to you if you want to go with more then the cost fee will increase and you will have to pay a fee for more copies but you can go with just one and you will have no gas cost moving on blockchain now on OpenSea, we can actually mint NFTs on different chains, Ethereum, Arbitrum, then we have Avalanche, BNB, Polygon, and Solana. It also depends on the wallet that you have connected. We have connected MetaMask, that is why I can go with Ethereum or Polygon. If I had added other networks on my MetaMask, then we can actually go with Solana, Avalanche, Optimism, and then we have others too. For me, we can go with either Ethereum or Polygon. Polygon is another uh, chain which is actually which has less uh, gas fee. So it also depends on now buyers if they have Polygon or Ethereum. But a lot of people buy on Ethereum on OpenSea. Moving on, we have freeze metadata option. To freeze your metadata, you must create your item first. So of course, once you create your item, then your data will be you know freezed here. Click on create and then you just have to do the recapture and your NFT will be created. And there you go, your NFT will be created. You can see we have just created an NFT on OpenSea. So now our NFT is created. You can see we have our description, we have our collection name and we have our blockchain here. Now we will sell this NFT. For that, you have to list for sale at the top here. Click on this option. Okay, choose a type of sale. So we have two types. We have a fixed price. This item will be listed as, a, you know, with a fixed price. And then we also have a timed auction. So you can even, uh, you know, add this item uh, as an for auction. Then we have set a price. So I am going with the fixed price option here. And then I will just set a fixed price for my NFT. I can go with maybe 0.05 Ethereum, which is going to be $90 in total. Uh, for NFT like this, I think this is okay. But let's say I wanted to go with like one. This is going to be 1800 uh, USD. So, uh, of course, you will just, you know, add um, whatever price you want to go for, uh, for your NFT. And it will be added here. Then we have the duration. So, for duration, we're going to go with one month. Then we have summary. So listing price is going to be 0 0.06 Ethereum. This is the price that I added. Creators earning right now is zero. Service fee. There is a service fee on OpenSea, which is 2.5%. But this is actually with the sale. You don't have to pay for listing. Uh, this is a service fee that uh, that is paid after the, you know, sale. So this is the potential earning after the 2.5. So I will be making 0.0. .0 five eight ethereum which is one zero six so here we listed for one zero eight and our potential earning is one zero six so this is actually pretty good we have like you know the, uh, i'm actually showing you the money that you will be making with the nft which is pretty good okay click on complete listing and your nft will be listed for sale on OpenSea.io, which is the world's largest nft marketplace with a lot of users with a lot of customers and a lot of buyers that will buy your nft so you can go ahead and check it out right now all you need is a metamask wallet or any other wallet you have you can just go to opensea.io and you will connect your wallet and create your nft as i showed you it's very easy to do it's a very fun process and it takes five minutes to upload an nft and list it up for sale on opensea so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help don't forget to give it a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel